Arnold Allen is back after a defeat last year to uh, to Max Holloway, taking on Mosa Evloweb. What an unbelievable fight. Yes, I know that Arnold Allen is fighting down the rankings, but we all know how good uh, Mosa Evloweb is. Mike, with all due respect to all the other fights that are on this card, this could be the fight of the night. Well, listen, both guys are very, very technical, right? Mobsa Evloev is a tough fight for Arnold Allen. That's why you've got to respect Arnold Allen, yeah. right? Because he was on this crazy 11-fight win streak. It looked like he was destined for a title fight. Fights Max Holloway, which is a tough assignment for anybody. By far, the next best featherweight, not called Alexander Volkanovsky. And listen, that was a learning curve. He's taken a little bit of time off. He's been training diligently throughout the entire period. And now he comes back taking on Mobsa Evloev. Right, I mean that just shows you the kind of cloth that Arnold Allen is cut from. Right, 17 and 0 is Evloev, great wrestler out of Russia. No weak areas. Had a close one with Diego Lopez, but I'm telling you, it, this to me just impresses me so much about Arnold Allen. His career isn't done. He'll, he'll, he will have learned from Max Holloway. He trains with Faraz Zahabi, one of the best minds in the sport. They will have sat down, watched that fight, figure out what he did wrong. I'll tell you what went wrong. It was Max Holloway. Simple as that. Don't feel yeah. too bad. Don't feel down on yourself. He didn't get finished. Yeah, he lost the fight, but he had some great moments as well. So there's still a lot to be excited about if you're an Arnold Allen fan and going up against Mofsar Evloev if you can beat him and it ain't going to be easy let's just say that Arnold's got great striking Mofsar Evloev uses the wrestling to a fantastic ability uh, it's going to be a very tough technical fight but if Arnold can get it done he's right back in those conversations Evloev's proved as well Nick of how well rounded he is because when it doesn't necessarily go his way against elite wrestlers he switches it up he mints on the feet as well yeah, you're obviously referencing the Mike Grundy fight, which we were cage side for, and everyone was saying Evil Oev is this incredible wrestler, there's nothing you can do, and Mike Grundy wrestled the boots out of him, so Evil Oev come out in round two and turned into a Golden Gloves level boxer and pieced him up on the feet. Um, and that's, that's listen, that's the reason why he's 17 and 0. That's the reason why he's got this extensive unbeaten record. He finds a way to win because he's very, very good. As Mike says, technically everywhere. Him and Arnold Allen are very much mirror images of each other. You know, got a similar number of fights. They're the same age. They're both massively frustrating due to inactivity. I'll come back to that in a second. But I think even Arnold's losses on there, you know, that loss to Max Holloway, the reason Evil Web hasn't got a loss to Max Holloway or, or anyone of that nature is he hasn't got to that level yet. And this is a criticism of both these guys. They're just not active enough. We're lucky if we see them once a year. I think if you look at their entire UFC tenures, the most fights either of them have had in one year is two. I think Arnold's done that once. Evil Web's done that twice. You know, Arnold's been in the, the UFC since 2015. That's nine years now. He's had 11 fights. That's just not enough you know that's why it's taken so long to get to the position he is he's got to be more active now and hopefully it starts this weekend and hopefully it starts with a win over Evil Web but it's going to be incredibly tough as Mike pointed out Evil Web we did just see him once last year but he was the only man last year to beat Diego Lopez who had probably the best year of his career a bit of a breakout year in fact Diego Lopez so both these guys have got the ability to go all the way and genuinely fight for the title but they've both got to be busy an all road start on Saturday night. A win for either really does propel them forward to an eliminator. And just on that, and that's kind of nice the way that you just led me into that, Mike. It is obviously it's important to win at all times, but it seems even more so in this particular fight if you've got aspirations of being a champion because we don't know what's going to happen in the featherweight title fight. If there is a changing of the guard there with Volkanovski and Topuria, then the bottleneck at the top of that division, Max Holloway becomes a player once again in the title picture and it becomes even more difficult to get yourself a title shot. Winning is imperative if you're at the top end. Welcome to the UFC, baby. That's just the way it is, you know, and mm -hmm. certainly in those lower weight classes, whilst they don't get, well, in fact, they do, I was going to say they don't get the same shine as some of the other weight classes. These days, 55 is the glamour division. 45 is just stacked from top to bottom. You've got Tapori, mm. who's undefeated, fighting Volkanovski. You've got Max Holloway, who's seemingly forgot about, forgotten about in the title situation, but he's like... <laughs> You want to fight for the belt? Well, there's Max Holloway first. It's like, that is such a blooming pain in the backside. It's like when I fought Anderson Silva. Any other time, you would have been fighting for the belt and you get a win over Anderson Silva and all you do is go home with your win bonus and 50 stitches in your face. You're not getting a title. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's kind of the position they're both in. Arnold Allen is top of the food chain. Make no mistake. Fell short to Max Holloway. No shame in that whatsoever. And now he's got 17-0 and 0 
Movsar Evloev, as I said before at the top, welcome to the UFC, certainly in these lighter weight classes. It's just ridiculous, the talent pool.